friends, welcome to my channel! <sighs> Not sure what my wig is doing. I haven't been wearing wigs lately actually, um, because my hair is now at a, an appropriate length for myself that I can do stuff with it. I haven't been wearing wigs, I've been having my own hair and wearing extensions, but it's pissing with rain today and I didn't want to get my extensions wet. So for chuck on a wig. So, hello guys. Can I tilt my camera more so you can see what I'm doing? That's better. So, guys, today I am going to get boom, blasted, asted, tattooed. One of the tattoos there is well fit. I wouldn't mind being ass blasted, to be fair. I'm going to get my second, my second, my third. I'm going for my third day appointment on my sleeve, my half sleeve. So let me show you before I start rambling. Let me show you, let me show you. Ah, look at that. This is going but. Blech. So my first day appointment I had in March and that was to get beautiful Ursula done. This whole thing is a cover up. Ursula is covering up a really old Maleficent face. And then my last appointment was to have Maleficent done. And that is covering up my Maleficent dragon. I tapped out at that appointment. Tapped, didn't I? Tapped. It hurt, okay. Um, it was my first appointment after lockdown and it was my first appointment that like, getting tattooed wearing a mask and on my front and I was on my period and oh my God, all the excuses, but I couldn't do it, I tapped out. So I ended up having a half day for that and today I'm going to get her finished. I'm having Maleficent finished and then the outline of the third character in this gap here. Now this gap, um, I don't know if you can see, but there is a sleep, <laughs> there was, there was a sleeping beauty here. She had a bit of trouble at the facial reconstruction place. She looked like King Stefan had dressed up as, as her. It didn't look right. I had her lasered off as well with all the other stuff on this arm. And I'm so glad it's getting done. This is the penultimate session, yo. So, third character. So I left it up to you guys to guess who I was getting done. I don't think I gave any hints away. I was like, well, it's just, is there a third character? They're a villain. They're a bit badass. They're not really recognized enough for my liking, to be honest. They are sassy, they're crazy, and they're just downright weird. So many of you said Hades, Scar. It was pretty much Hades or Scar. Hades was the total one that you all guessed. Um, I love Hades, but I'm not a huge fan of Hercules. <gasps> like, Hercules has never been one that I've really, really been a huge fan of, but I obviously, I do love Hades and I do love James Woods who voices Hades. He's got that, that sassy, com he's got that sassy comedic voice, hasn't he? And um, I, I do really like him. But because I don't like the whole film, it doesn't feel right to get just a character I like tattooed on me. I'm not a huge, huge fan of Brave, so I wouldn't get the bear tattooed on me. Mordu. My daughter loves Brave. I just, I don't know, I can't get into Brave. Unless I like the whole film, I wouldn't get it tattooed on me. Little Mermaid, I obviously love. It's one of my faves. Sleeping Beauty, another one of my faves. This one, I would have put Beauty and the Beast on here, but I don't want Gaston on me because he's an arrogant pig, but I love the film. So who's the third character? A few of you guessed it. Suspense is probably killing you and you're about to be really disappointed. Third character is Yzma. Who the fuck is Yzma? I'll tell you who the fuck Yzma is. She's Eartha Kit, yo. She's so fucking funny. She is from Emperor's New Groove, which I didn't watch till re re not super recently, but like I only watched the film uh, maybe about two years ago. I never watched it when it came out. And oh my God, me and my daughter fell in love with it. We quote it all the time on the way to school. Like literally me and Violet walk to school and we're like, cheddar will be fun. Can I swap my potatoes for a side dish? And we just quote it all the way to school. Mainly cheddar will be fine. <laughs> It's, so it's got that cute little like mum and daughter moment and that's one reason why I just love it so much. So yes, third character is Yzma. Oh, I better go shave my armpit, better I? Just for politeness. <laughs> but don't forget to do that, Emily. Uh, so that's it. I'm rocking Mary Wyatt again. I wore my Mary Wyatt top the crybaby on my last tattoo vlog and I wimped out so I'm giving, I'm giving my Mary Wyatt clothes <laughs> another chance to redeem themselves. Get me through today. But it also says sad girl, because my last one said crybaby, 
and I didn't cry but I did tap out so this one at least if I if I don't get through the day it's like look I'm just a sad girl <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> and then the fit tattoo is gonna come give me a cuddle <laughs> right that's it I um I gotta go and then I'm gonna get the train back by myself and hopefully not get lost this time <laughs> Hey boobs! So I'm here, headphones ready. I'm actually a bit late, so I'm gonna have to run um, because we got stuck behind a funeral procession, funeral hearse basically in a row of cars. So I'm a bit late, so I've got to, I can't stop, I can't stop. I've got to find my mask and um, yeah, gotta go, I'm nearly there. <laughs> boobies so it's actually been about two months <laughs> since I got my tattoo done basically I'm a shit youtuber and I take ages to do my videos so beginning of this video <gasps> I had no cheek piercings why are you touching them Emily stop but yeah it's been about two months so it's pretty much fully healed now if you've seen my recent videos I've done an absolutely shit job of keeping it hidden because look I've got it hidden now but my last few videos, I've completely forgotten that I have to keep it hidden to keep the suspense. It's hidden now. Too little, too fucking late, Emily. So in my last tattoo session, I had the outline of Maleficent done. So the first session I had all of Ursula. The second session was just a half day and I had, well, no, it was a full day, but I wimped out. And I had the outline of Maleficent on the back of my arm and her shaded all in black. This most recent session, I have Maleficent finished and the third and what I thought was final, the third character done. So this has spiralled into something so big. I thought it was going to be three characters. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. But no. <laughs> um, it has turned into something so much bigger. So where the placement is of the three characters that I have so far, there is space up the top for me to have another character. I don't know who I'm going to have but I, it kind of needs it maybe even two characters <gasps> from what started off as three big characters has now turned into something so much bigger and I'm so excited for this can't freaking wait so yeah the third character is 
Yzma. I freaking love her. I love her so much. She's just a bitch, isn't she? Empress New Groove does not get the credit it deserves. It's such a good film. Wasn't too keen on Crunk's New Groove, but no, Empress, oh. And Eartha Kitt's voice is so perfect for a Disney villain. <laughs> so let me show ya. so cold it started snowing today and I've got my blanket and um I've got my heating on but the house is so freaking cold oh my bra straps falling down we don't want those taters flapping about getting Maleficent finished was a piece of cake it was so easy because the last time I had um because my last last session when I had the outline done and the black shading the black was so brutal and that one was my first tattoo after the first lockdown and it, I just I couldn't handle it I couldn't I couldn't do it couldn't do it couldn't do it yeah I wimped out so I was so scared I was gonna wimp out of this session because this session was also a day one um because my last session was a day one and I only did half day because I, I whizzed no, I lasted the whole day and Maleficent is all coloured in and my god did that bitch bleed. She bled like a mofo. Paper towels and paper towels and paper towels and blood. I thought I needed a transfusion. That was just, you know, I'm not really a bleeder and that was just... And Ryan had gone to the toilet and I'm just sat there like... <gasps> Am I gonna die? <laughs> get my phone out vlog it I could be on faces of death Maleficent was finished off pretty quickly and it wasn't bad at all Yzma on the other hand was brutal if you just like pinch this part of your arm like with your nails it hurts it's a very ah oh, like that, that's still hurting that's still stinging right there it's such a tight t well, I don't know about tight <laughs> it's such a tender area that I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if I can do it. I've got to do it because I've got the outline. It was bad. Like I have tattoos on this side, um, on the inside of this arm, but I got that done at, at a convention. And when you get tattooed at conventions, it's, it's a different experience. There is so much going on. There's people walking around, people watching you, that you're in that atmosphere. And I found it didn't hurt that much. This one, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, it hurt. So I've got no idea how I'm gonna get through that like that my next tattoo vlog is gonna be a whole one of me just going it really hurt <laughs> woman the fuck up i paid for this i paid for this pain it's gonna look good when it's done bro so yzma maleficent boom session three that's not three that's three that's weird three session three down done and then my fourth session was booked for the middle of november but we went into second lockdown so that has now been moved to february oh, i've got ages to wait that's good because i've got ages to save up because i got no money and that one will be um coloring ease marion i might ask if i can numb it like i just i might I might, I might do it. I've done all this without numbing um, but I'm, it's the inside of your arm isn't it painful so that's the three so far there's a bit of the wing from my old tattoo and then all this um is my lasered old tattoo uh this is all gonna be covered up so yzma um is gonna cover up all this we're gonna put like clouds and smoke and thunder all that jazz i really want a bit of cheddar cheese on there and then i have all this space at the top because my left goes up so high it frames it perfectly that I could get one or even two more characters. I could have one in here, which would sit about here. The face would sit about here. And then I could have another one here. So that's opened up so much more. My original thinking was to just get the three Disney villains, but now it's like, oh, I can have two more. Narrowing it down to three was so difficult. Now I've got to try and think of two more. Any ideas? I already have the Snow White Queen. Um, on my leg but I don't have her as the old witch the old crane I have her as Lady Grimhild so I don't know if I want two of the same Disney villain on me I also love Lady Tremaine she's very realistic um, the Cinderella stepmom she's like an, a realistic villain so I really like her 
Um, I do feel like Cruella would fit in there quite well, but I'm not a huge Cruella fan. Um, aside from the black and white, I can't get down with the doggy killing. Puts me off a little bit. She's a right bitch, isn't she? That fucker. Skin them doggies. We ain't she in. I did also think Dr. Facilier, because I, I really like him and I like his, I like his outfit and his, how gangly he is. And I just, I don't know. I don't know. There's, I need to have a play around. I need to like draw some on and see. Oh, boring my, what the fuck? Boring myself, final destination in, what is going on? And then after we had done Yzma, we had, there was no point, we only had like a little bit of time left, so there wasn't much point in starting colouring her in. We just decided to like, we'll start afresh, we'll start next session. My next session was booked for a month away from when this was done, but it got cancelled because of lockdown. But we had a little bit of time left and Ryan was telling me about these really weird, uneasy Disney characters or cartoon characters he's been doing. And um, he showed me the first one and the story is that a guy in prison who was so messed up on drugs was tattooing someone and um, the guy asked for Goofy. Everyone knows who Goofy is. And this guy was so brain fucked, he couldn't remember what Goofy looked like. So the guy being tattooed said, well, he's basically a dog with a long nose and a like a tall slouchy hat on. And then this is the tattoo that the tattooist did. So Ryan like is, loves these ideas and has drawn up a flash sheet of uneasy cartoon characters. Characters that just, they don't look right. They purposely don't look right. They're purposely wrong. And I love them. He's done a few of them already. I jumped all over that. I was like, I need one. I need one. So we had a few minutes left on my session. Ryan drew a few characters out. I was like, what about Powerpuff Girls? What about, um, I can't remember what other one I said. I said Powerpuff Girls, but they couldn't, um, they didn't look right. Um, and then there was another one I said and that didn't look right either. So I got Remy. Remy from Ratatouille. And of course, he came out so uneven, so wonky, so messed up. Like, so messed up, I should say. This is Remy on meth that I love him. And I got him on the bottom of my ankle, which is a good job I shaved my legs that day. Or I might have ended up getting it on my face. You know me, impulsive tattoos are my thing. So yeah, I have wonky Remy on my leg and I freaking love it. I think it's like possibly one of my new favourite tattoos. I love the idea that it started from a prison tattoo and it's just evolved and Ryan's got this flash sheet now designs and they're just, oh my god, they're so weird. But I love them. I wouldn't mind another one actually. Maybe I'll get like a wonky Disney princess. I'll put Ryan's page below if you want to check him out. He's got a couple on there. Let me know what your next tattoo is in the comments below. I feel like my next tattoo will be um, this one. I don't think I have any. I don't think I'll plan any before then. Though I do have boobies tattoos. like, And loads of my followers have got these tattoos. Ding. And I haven't got one yet. I'm like, they're my tattoos. I need to get one. I'm waiting for my mum. Because me and my mum are going to get a matching one and I'm just waiting for her to decide which one she wants to get. And then I will go somewhere else because we have to get a her tattoo. And then I'll go somewhere else to get the other three because I'm getting all of them. They're my, they're my, they're for me. I've got to get all of them. But that is it, boobs. Um, thank you so much for watching my tattoo vlog. I do also have a Patreon. I've got to chuck this in there because I've got a tattoo to save for now. If you want to help support this channel, this is that's the best way to do it. Well, that and watching my videos and thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. That's it, guys. I'm gonna go. I um, I want to go and watch the snow because we don't get snow very often in the UK. And I don't know. I want to feel like an ice princess. <laughs> I'm Smelsa from Frozen, Elsa's secret ugly twin sister. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching my channel, watching my video, thank you for being here, I love you. And I will see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourself, much love, and most of all guys, stay weird.